Let's talk about software and hardware glitches and when to know when it's time to upgrade your operating system and your software systems. I have been running into this problem with the iLock Manager software, which is required for my SoftTube plugins, which I use this Console One controller with. Very essential to my day-to-day -day operation of my audio production work. And I've also been experiencing a problem with the Stream Deck since I upgraded to their latest firmware and software. So I sent out a tweet this morning asking if anybody else had experienced something similar. SoftTube was amazing and responded very quickly with a link to iLock's solution that they've been working with them on. And so I am needing to upgrade to Mac OS 13.1 since I'm currently running Mac OS 13.0.1 and I didn't even realize that software update was available. I will say that iLock has been a regular thorn in my side since I've been working with digital audio workstations dating all the way back to the turn of the century in the early 2000s. Many of these tools use the iLock system to protect from license infringement, and it's a necessary evil, unfortunately. So dealing with these software glitches is just going to be part of the deal. Things are getting better and better as time goes along, and we used to have to wait years before upgrading Mac OS. Now I'm pretty confident I can do it pretty much when it comes out, especially because I use Logic. But even if I were using Pro Tools, the weakest link in the chain is usually iLock. So as long as I'm aware and prepared, the good thing is I was able to fix this temporarily by just reinstalling iLock every time I restarted my computer, which was not fun, but it didn't completely prevent me from getting work done. So in theory now, when I do this operating system update, I should be good to go. I'm gonna do that really quick here and I will report back in this video. Great news, doing the update to Ventura 13.1 did the trick for the iLock. I didn't even have to reinstall it. So my plugins are all working again. And even more good news, the glitch that was happening uh, with my Stream Deck was fixed when I uninstalled this HomeBridge plugin that I wasn't using. And now everything is hunky-dory in DePaula Studio.